I do not care. How much have I to say that I don't care? I don't care about oppressors. I don't care about rapists. I don't care about murderers. I don't care about carnists and slaughterhouse workers. I don't care about the job of a hitman. I don't care about the, or about the job of people who work in the child porn industry. I don't care about those workers. I don't care about people who work in the rape industry. I don't care about the job of a mafioso. When I was living in the 19th century, I don't care about the job of a slave master. Can you guess what I mean? I don't care about oppressors. Take sides. Neutrality helps the oppressor. Not once, the victim. Silence encouraged the tormentor. Not once, the victims. Peace begins on the dinner table. But what you eat on a daily basis. It is not hard to be vegan. Serious, it is not hard. You don't have to care about protein because basically it is impossible to get not enough protein. So I have explained this video if you eat enough calories. Now, if you're going on a crazy diet when you eat only sugar water, or maybe, or maybe close to only sugar water, Maybe you can get a um, deficiency in nutrients. Yes, and then you can actually get a deficiency in nutrients. <laughs> Don't try to uh, turn around, but... You don't can get basically a protein deficiency. The most protein you get, get you actually from... That your body actually break down your own organs as a long protein reabsorption process, if you know what I mean. Uh, your body reuse and cycle your organs around one to a couple of years, um, dependent on organs, and then the recycle of cells in your body. That's how it actually works. That's how you mass get into your protein from. And vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is not so much a vegan issue. It is more a sanitation issue. Back in the time, most people get their vitamin B12 from the soil. The soils were not so polluted as they now are, and people were also a lot dirtier. So uh, they have shit on their hands, or they have ground, or they are swimming in the water and drink from the water, and they, on that way they get their vitamin B12. Actually, in America, land, the land where they eat the most amount of animal body parts per capita, they have. 40% of the population. 40%! However, for vitamin B12 deficiency, only 1 to 60% of the people today in the United States are vegan or vegetarian. So, how can that be a vegan or vegetarian issue? Don't come up with that shit. Anybody can get it when he lives to a cemetery. And don't get me wrong, sanitation is good, but too much can be negative. <laughs> More like the sanitation of um, Dr. Shelton from the Shelton Clinic, a uh, way of 
of hygiene I think you can better get. I will have a link in the description below if you want to check it out. Pretty interesting. And if you think about B, vitamin D, if you are white like I am, or if you have white skin like me, then if you go in the sun for a couple of hours a day or an hour a day, then you get all the vitamin D you need. When you are older, uh, over the over the age of fifty, it becomes sometimes more problematic to get enough vitamin D from sunlight. But if you are not if you below the fifty, then there's no problem with getting enough vitamin D from sunlight. Also, if you are black, um, it can be a little bit harder to get your vitamin D from sunlight because black people can get less good vitamin D from the sun but it is still possible and you can also eat uh, you can also eat some little bit uh, more mushrooms and put them in the sunlight a couple of hours before you uh, will cook them now on you to boost your vitamin D actually Now, omega, flax seeds, chia seeds, um, nuts, many kinds of uh, nuts have uh, omegas, so you can get them from the apple eggs. Vitamin B12, uh, a little bit back, um, you can also eat, drink and eat some vitamin B12 fertilized uh, foods like uh, soy milk or only milk from the supermarket get all your vitamin B12 you want the same is true with the dairy There's, it is also fertile with B12 and animal flesh is also uh, sub supplemented with B12 since that all cows get vitamin B, B12 injections because if they don't do it then the beef industry cannot claim that their products have vitamin B12. The most vitamin B12 injections go to the beef industry in America, in the pig industry. Etc. There are four animals, not hominid animals, or species, by the way. So, stop filtering your nutrients towards somebody else's body. It is illogical, insane. Go to the root of the sources of the vitamins and minerals. Go to the plant foods. Eat a healthy vegan diet. And you have most likely no problem with getting enough vitamins and minerals. I see you next time. I hope you like this video. Subscribe and like this video. And forget that when darkness and light become one, the reality splinter away and the truth become visible.